Hey, look, your brother. That's your brother. That's your brother. Okay. It's okay. Can you say hi, Oakley? Hi, baby. Daddy, baby. Say hi, Oakley. That's cute. It's cute. So cute. Oh, oh. oh yay! Oh, just because they have little. Oh, Okay. Oh. That's your brother. Do you love him? You can, if you want to kiss him, you can kiss him here. On the head. Top of the head. Oh my gosh. The baby. That's Oakley. Oh, baby. That's a baby that was in mommy's belly. You want to hold him? Yes. Yes? Yes. Come on, hold the baby. You want to hold the baby? Yes. Okay, hang on. Whoa, whoa. Under his neck. Good job. Oh. Good girl. Oh, Good girl. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Say hi, Oakley. 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 Hi, Oakley. Hi, Oakley. Look adjusted. Oakley got this for you. That's from Oakley. Can you say thank. Can you say thank you? Hey, Acorns. Switch. Can you say thank you, Oakley? Thank <gasps> you. Oakley elephant. Oakley got you an elephant. You don't like it when you do that. You don't like the bone. <laughs> oh, my battery is dying. Oakley's screaming. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm gonna charge this one now, so don't forget. I need your help. Do I wear this dress for Christmas? If the answer is no, I have to find a plan B. When I bought it, I think I was only like a week and a half postpartum. And so my body was looking very different and it wasn't the most flattering where it cinches in. Let me try it on. You can decide and leave me your thoughts down below in the comments because I just don't know if this is the Christmas dress. Let me change into it. This is what it looks like. I really need to get a wider angle lens for my vlog camera. That's maybe on my Christmas list. Okay, let's see. Okay, this looks so much better than it did when I first bought it. Like the waistband was not giving. It was like on the belly. And I feel like now I can almost make it work. It's kind of short. I don't know. I'm gonna wear leggings, like tights with it. Hang on, let me grab a belt. I think a belt would work. Does that look better or worse with the belt? Does it even need a belt? Let me know. Okay, the reason I think this dress would be perfect for Christmas is because it buttons, so it's breastfeeding friendly. Leave me a comment down below, yay or nay. Also, I'm really loving how my hair blow dried this morning. I just got out of the shower. I used, it's a heat protectant I've used for a bit, but I think I just like sectioned my hair off really well and I used one of those like blow dry brushes. I'm just enjoying it because I know that postpartum hair loss is around the corner. It doesn't happen right away. It like tricks you. It makes you think that you have passed it and you are just one of those lucky ones and then bam, hair starts falling out everywhere. Shout, bed, just like, it's awful. So I'm gonna actually get my hair cut soon. Just try to do all the things, take my vitamins, eat, sleep, rosemary oil treatments things like that. Matt was so kind and picked me up a green smoothie after the gym today. I've just been with Oakley all morning, getting myself ready. He's with him now. He's just fighting his morning nap. I've been trying to do one nap a day in his bassinet, but that was not happening today. So Matt is just wearing him and seeing if that will help settle him down. Also, I forgot to tell you, we are doing something really exciting today. We are seeing Santa. Santa! Oh my God. Santa here? Is that the scene from Elf? Is that how it goes? I have not watched that movie yet this year, but it's really cute. So we are seeing Santa Claus. We're doing photos with the cousins and Seiji and Oakley, and it's gonna be the cutest thing ever. We did this last year and my nephew actually mentioned it again. He's like, I really wanna do it. And it was so cute just to do a photo of all of them. And I felt like it made it easier. That was like one of my hacks last year. Like just do a photo with all the cousins if you wanna do Santa photos, because I feel like when they're by themselves, they're more likely to have a meltdown. And we actually got some really cute Christmas photos last year. Oh wait, I think 
Okay, actually, one sec. I think I have them in my drawer. They're definitely somewhere. I think they might be in the office. Okay, I can't find it right now. I'll put a photo of it here. Really cute photo. Back to getting ready. I thought we could get ready together. I'm bringing over my makeup here because the lighting is better. But before I do, I want to give a shout out to Osea for sponsoring today's video. They are a vegan, clean, cruelty-free, seaweed-based skin and body care company. And I'm obsessed with them. I've been using them for years and I'm so grateful to be working with them. I feel like I worked with them last time around the holidays. They have exclusive limited edition holiday sets that are absolutely gorgeous, perfect for the mom in your life that needs some extra care even my mom is obsessed with her products she keeps stealing my stuff when she's over and she keeps hinting it's like her birthday coming up and then she has christmas so it's like double double gifts for mom this month and she keeps hinting like "Ooh, are you working with osea again because like i really love their that body butter and that oil um just like hint hint wink wink like it's so funny and i'm like yes mom i already have some aside for her to give to her for her birthday and she also wants one of those like red light masks so that will be a nice self-care duo gift right now they have their undaria bestsellers as a holiday set together these are a value of 108 dollars you're going to get it for 72 dollars which is a savings of 33 percent they do the math right their undaria algae body oil is so hydrating it helps improve the elasticity of your skin it is seaweed infused which helps nourish and soften the skin and i cannot tell you how much my skin loves this oil i've been using them for years and I probably have like, oh, here's one of my, this is the jumbo bottle because I'm that obsessed. It has the most beautiful scent. I love it. And even though it's an oil, it's not greasy. And I feel like you can really tell how it softens your skin after just one use. It's beautiful. And then this paired with the Andaria LG body butter is like a match made in heaven. I love it. This is a new one. It is so thick and buttery. It transforms dry skin, leaving it soft and healthy looking. And it's just going to be a must have this winter. I'm also obsessed with the C bio water cream I've used this also for a long time I had it in my hospital bag and I also had their ocean cleanser I have a little mini one but I just got restocked with a full size I love this if your cleanser is drying out your skin and making you feel like tight and itchy after you wash your face ditch it get something more gentle and hydrating and this one does not give you that tight feeling whatsoever this with this beautiful. If you still haven't started your holiday gift shopping like myself, this is a great last minute gift idea for anyone on your list. Not to mention you can save an additional 10% off by using my code Nicole Holiday. I will have everything linked down below in the info box. Okay, let's finish getting ready. Oakley is still sleeping with daddy and I got limited time. All right, two kids. Everyone loves to ask the question like, are two kids harder than one? What is that transition like? And honestly, it's been smoother than I thought. I honestly would say like we are six weeks into the game right now. <laughs> We're trying to win. I definitely think the transition from zero to one is harder than one to two. Hear me out though. It's more work. Like two kids is more work, but like the shock factor of it all and it just feeling like your life has changed forever. It was harder and more overwhelming at first with the zero to one transition, in my opinion. That being said, I have not really been left with the kids alone very often, so that makes a big difference. If you are a stay-at-home parent and you're by yourself all day long with two kids, like that's a lot. So if you are feeling very overwhelmed, as you should, that is a lot and you are a rock star. The first time I was actually left alone with them was the other week, our dog Cashew got bit by another dog. She's doing okay, but Matt had to go to the Emerge with her and it was like a whole thing. He was there for like four or five hours and I had to do bedtime by myself and I was so nervous. I'm like, you're gonna be back for 7.30, right? He's like, I don't think I am. And I was so nervous. I'm like, what am I gonna do? And I felt so silly that I was so nervous about it, but I had so many moms like cheer me on and say, oh my God, like I didn't do bedtime for the first time alone until like seven months postpartum. So it just made me feel better for being so nervous about it as a first time parent with two kids. I find the biggest thing for us has just been dividing and conquering like Matt does the morning and bedtime routine with Sage and I do it with Oakley sometimes I'll come hang out while Matt is getting Sage down and do like story time with them or in the mornings like she'll come into our room and hang out with me and Oakley but we're just not at that stage yet that we're both doing both bedtime routines together nor do I think we should like I think that's just like a waste of energy for us both to be doing both bedtime and morning routines you know and we just split everything like if I'm cooking he's cleaning or you know if I had a long day maybe I didn't sleep that great with Oakley Matt will do dinner I've been trying to plan our dinners more lately because we got to a point where we were just like making random stuff out of the fridge what was left over and it wasn't great it was like a lot of chicken nuggets and pizza <laughs> little blush 
make us look alive. I do feel like getting out of the house has been easier this time just because I feel more confident from doing it with Sage. Like Sage was a 2020 baby. So I didn't even feel confident going to the grocery store with her because we just never left the house. We would order groceries and it was just like a very different time. So this postpartum experience has been very different compared to my first. Oakley and I have gone with Matt and Sage to like her gymnastics or swim classes. And I just feel like it was easier to get both kids out of the house. That being said, there's definitely times that they're both having like meltdowns and it's a little frustrating and you just have to take a a little like mental chill pill and do some deep breathing to get through it, but you know, you'll be okay. I feel like what makes it easier this time is knowing that I will get sleep again. Like Oakley will eventually sleep throughout the night, even though he is a pretty good sleeper right now. Like he's been sleeping a four hour stretch and then a three hour stretch and then usually a two. And then breastfeeding is tiring. Like even if you have a newborn that is like a good a good sleeper it's still just it's tiring like your sleep is interrupted and you're, if you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding like that's a lot of work obviously you're doing one of those because your baby's got to eat even my best friend has told me that she feels like i am more rested this time around i'm not so much of a zombie like with sage i felt like all i could think about was sleep but she didn't sleep as good and she had a really awful four month sleep regression which i am dreading i feel like i have ptsd from that but we'll make it i think once you become a parent you just become used to getting sleep when you can and doing more with less energy i don't know i just there's something about this time around i just feel more confident um it doesn't feel as hard even though i know there's going to be hard times i feel like it's going to be hard once oakley is more mobile and able to crawl and walk and like that's going to be the challenging time with two kids i also feel like the age gap between them is really good sage has taken on like the big sister role she is just helping out and she loves being a big sister like she's always just like oakley oakley i want to hold him and she's so kind and gentle with him which makes it easier i feel like people that have two under two well like that's a lot that's a lot you, you have two babies like sage she's still a toddler but she also feels like a little big girl and like a kid kid you know don't judge my brows i have to get them done and also oakley is crying for mom so i'm just gonna do my mascara it's freaking out okay one last step we're gonna powder guys this is like real life you got like you know i've been chatting so i'm taking longer but he just woke up from his nap and he's like why isn't there milk in my mouth right now oh okay okay we're gonna give oki some milk look at his hair his little old man his newborn hair is officially falling out and he's getting new hair his official hair hey okay let's go give you some milky do you like mommy's makeup no you don't care all right let's go feed you okay eating up some leftovers for lunch before we have to get sagey from daycare and go see santa okay so now that we have matt here i want to ask him the same question what are your thoughts on like the transition from one to two versus zero to one like what do you think is harder i think it depends on the kid a little bit because mm. sage was a little energetic so i think if we would have had sage from uh the one to two it would have been difficult because she was up every hour and a half when she was a baby first month with sage we were pretty zombie-ish but with him we've been really good for our scenario i'd say it was much easier to go from one to two than zero to one because our second is the chiller kid because he's a little more chill but if if they were reversed and we had the chill kid first and then sort of a more energetic child second it might be more difficult from one to two in that scenario. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, everyone? By the way, I'm heating up this delicious ragu sauce I made last night. Probably not a good idea to be wearing white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Poor choice. I know, I was like, uh, I'm gonna have to wear a bib. I'm gonna make a grilled cheese, guys. Grilled cheese with some smoked cheddar. Now sprinkle a little Parmesan on the top of it and a little garlic. I saw someone doing that on the TikTok. On like the you where the butter TikTok? is on the on the side where the butter is, you mm. sprinkle a little bit and then toast that. I'm like, oh, try it. Mm. I also I was saying that because we had sage in 2020. Like I feel more confident taking. Like I would actually take them both out. Mm -mm. Would I take them both out by myself? No, mm. I don't think you would. Yeah, I don't, I'm not ready yet, but like yeah. the idea pops up in my head. But like you've left a couple times where I've been like, yeah, go to the gym. Like I'm good. And you're like, you're good with both kids. I do feel just more confident and not as like overwhelmed with motherhood this time. Cause like I've been a mom for three years already. Yeah, I feel more confident. 
it was a little more unknown with Sage, but with him, it's like, well, at least I know, you know how to change a diaper, you know how to clean them and hold them mm -hmm. properly and all that stuff that you kind of, I, I had to learn. It just kind of all comes back to you. You're like, oh, right. Oh, yeah. Like, it took a little bit, it took a couple of, a couple of, maybe a week for me to be like, oh yes, okay. Cause they're so tiny when they come out. In this video, I shared the clip of like Sage and Oakley meeting. Oh yeah, that's cute. She, Sage was like born to be a big sister. Mm -hmm. Like I just, I can't get over with how good she is with him. And like, I was, I was a little worried, but I knew she had like a very like nurturing side to her, even though she's a very like rebellious, not rebellious, stubborn, hot headed, strong, strong, strong willed, we'll say. Strong personality. And she is just so excited to see Oakley every single morning and mm. night. Like she's just so gentle and sweet with him. We couldn't have asked for like a better. Yeah. She wants to hold him a lot. But like so she's nice. gentle, she doesn't try to p just pick him up. Like we obviously like watch them twenty four seven together, and she like plays with him. Like she'll grab like a little staffy, and she's like okay, and she's mm. playing with him. Like it's just it's been nice. It has been nice. Yeah. Nice transition, I think. And we've just kind of gotten back into the routine of what we did with Sage. Like you know our our nighttime setup. I just feel like it all came back to us, and mm. we know what worked, what didn't work. There's things I did new this time that I didn't do with Sage. I don't know. It's like you're already parent at this stage. What's another kid? You're already doing everything anyways. What's your favorite stage? Newborn? Now that you have a newborn and a toddler? Toddler. I feel like you thrive as a toddler dad. I think, yeah. I mean, like, I think for for guys, maybe. I don't know. Newborns, it's like they're cute. They're adorable. Um, you know, I love the little guy, but I can't interact with them too much. outside of smiling and making faces. But with Sage, I can like pick her up and play and we can wrestle or do hide and seek. And um, just for me as, as uh, the guy, I like being able to have that interaction because I'm not doing breastfeeding, obviously, or things like that. We get that connection. So yeah. plus like I'm, I like to have the fun, fun and play and do that. So I think like that'll be my, that's my time to shine. So it turned out and then Let's I see. put some. Oh, <laughs> oh that was a good shot. Oakley doesn't like it. <laughs> this might be one of the best things I've ever made. It's so good. Wow. Oakley just passed out in his little bouncer. It's so cute. Yeah, he is like such a chill newborn. I'm like soaking it up because I'm just like, please last as long as possible. Thank you again to Osea for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out the caption to check out their holiday sets. I will link some of my favorite products from them. Use the code Nicole Holiday to save an extra 10% off. I'm also gonna put in some clips from going to see Santa. So stay to the end to watch that. But uh, yeah, that's it for today's vlog. Wish me luck with not getting tomato sauce all over the shirt. Thank you.